Joe Kelly now available? Can't hear. Go ahead, Alana. Joe, how much of a challenge was that for you, particularly in the ninth? And if you can just kind of walk me through what it feels like going from traffic on the bases to locking it down. <clears throat> how, how much was a challenge? Obviously, it was a, it was a big challenge. Um, you know, coming into that game, um, obviously, it's not how it was. It was planned. Um, we ended up getting the win, but you know, there was runner on second base. You know, with the base open, um, any kind of contact in that situation is something that I'm trying to stay away from. Uh, as long as I don't walk in the third guy in to tie the game, um, I'm going for pitches that are um, going to be borderline strikes, balls. I'm um, trying to get swing and miss stuff. Um, and I, I'm, I'm fine if I put runners on base in that situation. Um, you know, it's, all, it's ultimately about winning the ball game um, and not letting them make contact. And then obviously with Hosmer up there uh, with the base loaded, obviously then you had, can't walk a run in. Um, but still, you know, able to make pitches that are, are, are pitchers' pitches and, and try to get those guys to swing. How are you able to maintain the exact same demeanor, whether there's nobody out, nobody on base or bases loaded in a playoff game in the ninth inning? Um, so it's a hard question. Um, I guess it's more of a, a mental thing, I guess. Um, you know, I was telling guys before the game that, you know, during sitting out there in the bullpen, um, you know, I'm kind of loud and just telling them to be prepared for shit to be crazy and, and stuff to be hectic. And you know, they say playoff baseball, anything can happen. Um, and I kind of go about saying playoff baseball, that everything is going to happen. Um, so to be mentally prepared for everything to go either badly or, or, or greatly is something that you have to be aware of. Um, and that's something that I'm aware of, you know, four runs, two runs, one run. Um, I think this is my seventh postseason. Um, so I've had a lot of times, uh, a lot of outings, you know, from starting to relieving um, in the postseason. So it's definitely helped me, um, you know, with the game intensity, um, just because I've had practice with it. But, you know, it's one of those things that um, when the postseason comes, you know, being okay with it going to be a crazy game, I think that's already half the battle. Finally, for me, Joe, how much do you draw on that previous postseason experience to help you get through any situation that arises here in 2020 in these playoffs? Yeah, I think, like I said, just having the experience of, of being in different ones, you know, from, you know, first couple of postseasons where I had a chance to make the World Series and lose, you know, from, you know, a couple years back where I happened to be on the, the right side of things and, and, and win one and then, you know, I've had success and I've had some some non-success um, in the playoffs, but um, I think it's all the the, the outings put together. Um, you know, that's what that's what gives me some peace and comfort knowing that, you know, I've done it, you know, numerous times. Um, so it's not going to be anything sneaking up on me mentally. Um, so, you know, just try to go out there and, and, and keep having fun because baseball is fun. And uh, even if there's no fans, that, that's still fun getting wins like that. Take your time. Good luck to you. Thank you. Next, next question is from Dave Asse. Go ahead. Turn that off, bro. Go ahead, Vasse. Hey, that alarm's loud. Hey, Joe, uh, in a game like tonight, what's the – I agree, alarm's too loud. Uh, 30 pitches last night for Kenley, 
and he's probably down tonight. How did the dynamics change for you guys in the bullpen in that ninth inning? Will Will Dave give you an idea of what's expected, or do you just have to be ready? Um, yeah, Kenley's thrown a, a, a quite a bit the past past couple of days. Um, the good thing for us is that you know we have a lot of guys in that bullpen. You know, arguably every single one of those guys, um, even if they don't have saves, are pretty much all closers. Um, so it will just be based off matchups. Um, we're all aware of, of, of the, the game and, and what's going to happen um, for us as a pen. I mean, from pitch one, you know, everyone's pretty much locked in. So um, it's postseason baseball, like I said, every, everything can happen. So, you know, anywhere from our closer to our long guy to our, you know, our lefty guy, our righty guy, um, we're all ready to go pitch one. So it's not going to be anything different that they're going to tell us to warm up. They're going to tell us to go in the game and we're going to go do our jobs. So, uh, that team that you were a part of in 18 with the Red Sox, the everlasting image will be the entire bullpen cheering on Chris Sale going through the bullpen gates. Do you feel like you're getting close to that type of bullpen with the Dodgers as far as the chemistry and what it takes to be a championship bullpen? Oh, we, we, we have a great bullpen here and, and the chemistry has been there since day one. You know, we've, we have so many talented arms down there. Um, and I think we've been showing that the whole season. You know, obviously it was only 60 games, um, but the the confidence that I have in this bullpen, um, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Um, I said it throughout the year. Uh, this is the best bullpen I've ever been a part of. Um, and like I said, I have a World Series ring. Um, you know, when you could run out, you know, anywhere from I don't even know how many guys are like down there right now. Pretty much every single guy down there. Um, you know at any part, any situation, and, and their numbers are either from a zero ERA to a two ERA. It's, it's, it's pretty damn good. And um, like I said, it's, it's one of those things that are very special. And, and, and we know as a team, um, you know, we have great offense, great starters, great defense. Um, and now we have a great bullpen. So we know as a team, um, for us moving forward, that, you know, we're going to be a big part of this and, and we have to be locked in. Next question is from Rowan Kavner. Go ahead. Hey, you just pick who you want, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Juan. Uh, just uh, how strange has it been to be playing kind of, you know, you're playing home games in Texas while watching, um, you know, American League games that are that are being played with the home team at Dodger Stadium. Just how strange has this whole kind of setup been? It's been it's been awkward. Um, you know. It, it's it's definitely one of those things where I mean I'm watching the ball fly in Dodger Stadium, uh, kind of wishing that we were we were playing there, um, but yeah, watching watching other teams in your yard, you almost feel like um, you know you're in that game, but you're not. And then being here, you know, even we're even though we were the home team, um, it still feels like we're a visiting team. And I'm sure everyone else feels the same way. That's not playing in their park, um, but that's just the way 2020 is, and and, and that's what we're doing. Um, but if there's any place that I could have picked for, uh, what do they call it? Uh, what's this thing called? Not the bubble. Oh, the, this is the insecure zone. Um, if there's any place that uh, I, I would choose to play is here in Texas. I mean, this place is beautiful. Um, I mean, it's got all the bells and whistles. Um, being a number one seed uh, pays off in, in, in this way, that's for sure. Thanks. Next question is from Bill Go ahead. And Joe, we haven't had a chance to talk to him in a couple of weeks. How is Kenley Jansen handling his individual struggles and the possibility that he won't be the ninth inning guy going forward? Exactly like everyone else struggles in this game. Uh, we pick each other up here, which is great. Kenley's my catch partner. Um, he's my locker mate. And, you know, we have some good conversations. And, uh, there's, there's some times where, you know, he needs a little bit of a kick in the butt, but um, there's some times where, you know, everyone needs to be picked up. And right now, um, Kenley knows, you know, we all want a ring, and that's all we're looking forward to. So it doesn't matter who's pitching. Um, as long as the guy's out there and, and, and we know, you know, that's the best part about this team is that, you know, I go out there and there's literally almost nothing to lose because I know that there's a guy behind me who could do the job just as good as me. Or if the matchup comes up, even better. Um, you know, I was joking with Walker the other day. I said, man, I'd still be a starting pitcher if I had this bullpen like 
you could go out there and if guys get on, you know they're not coming in. Um, so Kenley knows that, and, and Kenley's taking it well. Um, obviously, he doesn't like underperforming, uh, but he's a, he's, a, he's a mentally tough guy. Um, like I said, he's my locker mate. He's my catch partner. Um, you know, his numbers still are, are showing good numbers. You know, I'm not talking about velocity. I'm talking about other other stats on it. Um, I play catch with him. You know, things have been have been going well, and and you know, we just we pick each other up, and that's what you know championship teams do. Um, it's not like he's sitting around in his locker right now pouting. Um, so he, he he's fine. He know he knows the deal, and and he knows that we have so many good players on this team, and 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 that's all. It's all right. It's not like he he's gonna be like, hey, I'm not gonna pitch if I don't pitch the ninth. He's a, he's a good teammate, um, and like I said, he's he's taking it like a man, and, and he knows he hasn't thrown the ball his best, um, but whenever we need him, he's gonna be right there for us. Thanks. You got one more question. Go ahead, Jorge. Hey Joe, uh, you were part of that in '18. You guys that went on to a little, went on the World Series, obviously, but you did it after Kirk Kimball struggled for a bit and pivoted away from him in the ninth inning, and you guys kind of had a bullpen by committee in a way. Just wondering what you learned from that experience and what the value is of set roles, especially in the postseason. Uh, yeah, I, I saw it firsthand, and and I don't know off the top of my head, but. You know, I remember watching last year's postseason and even postseason before. Um, it's not the harp on 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 the actual name of the title of the closer. I think when it's time for the postseason, you know, every inning's a closing opportunity. Every run's big. Every hit's big. Um, so I think that 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 mentality kind of goes out the window. Um, you know, with Kimbrel, we have we had a lot of guys throwing big spots. Um, just because it's it's not a save doesn't mean it's not a big spot. Um, but, you know, last year's team who won the World Series and Nationals, you know, they had designated closer. Some, I forget to forget who was thrown. I think Hudson, maybe, um, you know, he became a closer. Um, the year before it was Sale. Sale ended the game. Um, there's always starting pitchers and, and guys who, who show up in the playoffs that, you know, are hot and you just ride the hot hand. Um, so I think, you know, past three or four even World Series teams, um, there was different guys on the mound at the end. Um, but like I said, I think that every spot in the postseason is if there's runners on base and there's a chance for them to strike. Um, I think that every spot is, 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 is a safe situation, even though it doesn't have that number. Um, and that's what we understand here is, is every spot's big. And, you know, with with every runner, or every hit or, you know, our bullpen's focused on, you know, getting out of that inning with obviously no damage. Um, but the actual designated role of, of closer, you know, Obviously, Kenley's an amazing pitcher, and like I said, Kenley knows that he's going to be needed in huge spots, and the other guys are going to be needed in huge spots, and it's not like he's going to be pouting, um, knowing that it's not just his designated role. Um, but, you know, we have, like I said, I don't know how many guys we have in that pen. Um, but, I mean, we have at least 11, 12, 13, whatever it is, 13 closers. So that's, that's the part of it. So, lastly, for me, uh, you had him pitch like in 10 days before last night. How, how were you staying fresh? What were you doing in those nine, 10 days? Um, I mean, I was staying fresh. I, I was, I was a little rusty. That's for sure. Um, there's, there's not much you can do. You just go out there and do it. Uh, there's no excuses. I mean, mechanics felt fine. Might have been a little bit off, uh, but that's what happens. You know. There's that's the last thing kind of myself as a pitcher think of. Um, it could be two months off. It could be no no days off. Um, when you start thinking about when the last time you pitch and uh, if I'm gonna be rusty or not, and not worry about the hitter. Uh, I feel like you already lost. So I wasn't aware of it until uh, last night. You know, the last time I pitched. So that's a, that's a good thing. To, good thing to know that um, you know mentally focus on the game. And, and and if you're rusty, you're rusty. Like I said, we got other guys behind us that will pick us up whenever. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, everybody.